from an undisclosed location, welcome to another broadcast of In the Air AM. Here is your host, George Billet. From the deepest depths of the earth, in a non-disclosed location, I bid you a good morning, good evening, or good night, wherever you are right now. I'm your host, George Billing, and uh, welcome to another radio broadcast of In the Air uh, AM Live Talk Radio throughout the night. It's good to be here. Um, We're going to be doing something a little different on the show. Tonight, we're going to be uh, talking about the shadow people. It will be a big change of topic from uh, what we have talked about uh, in the past broadcast. So scratch that, rewind, and let's get on to another track. I've looked into um, finding someone uh, who I could interview tonight about shadow beings, and I have found Thunderstruck. Uh, So we'll see what he knows. Now, Thunderstruck is an Earth Titan elder and a Middle Realm leader on the uh, sweet by-and-by highway. He is a shaman and uh, is a well-respected Native American. As a teacher and a healer, he has influenced uh, many and is the author of You Are Not Alone, but uh, we will get to him uh, later. Now, you may remember that I I can't recall a week or a week and a half ago, I read an email that uh, a mysterious person had sent to me about shadow beings. Now, I I thought this was incredible. We have a uh, larger-than-life phenomenon in our midst, honest, right-hand-to-God truth, and I've had three or four emails uh, sent to me about the Black Mass. The story is... Well, let's just say uh, it's a bit scary. It described beings made of uh, dark energy. Now, we all experience these shadow demons. Well, maybe not all of us, but uh, every now and then, out of the corner of your eye, uh, you might see uh, some sort of movement like a uh, shadow. Now, you may think, what the heck was that now? A movement? You look and you see nothing. Well, I got another email today from someone uh, completely different, and I would like to share uh, that with you right now. Now, the email reads, here, Dear Mr. George Billing, my name is Chad Dower, and I have recently uh, found an old box my great-great-grandfather, Tom, kept hidden in his home. Now, the box had items from the 1940s. Uh, The box also held things that he had kept from his old friend, John Walters. Uh, John Walters was a private detective who was looking into a series of strange uh, events. The investigations involved what the world would refer to now as uh, shadow beings, shadow people, or black mass. Um, One of the sinister encounters uh, my uh, great-grandpa had was with a being wearing a fedora, long trench coat, and uh, bore a striking resemblance to what is known as the Hat Man. Uh, One note in the journal read, he was like a shadow mass trying to wear human clothes. He had glowing uh, red eyes and uh, spoke to me through my mind. I couldn't understand him at first, but the more I heard the voice, the clearer it got. And as he describes in his old musky journal, the thing was not human at, uh, at all. I was wondering if you could talk about shadow beings on your show. I'm a big fan of In the Air I Am, and uh, I listen to you all the time. Thank you, Chad Dower, uh, for your email. Well, let's, let's get right into the program for tonight. Wow, a detective story. John Walters? Almost sounds like a noir. And since we're talking about shadow beings on the show, uh, I guess tonight's episode would be called Shadow Noir. (laughs) 